Hello, my beautiful Sagittarians. Trust your intuition for guiding you to this waning moon reading. So full moons always signify things coming to full fruition. Things are really manifesting, popping off at a rapid rate. And then after the full moon, it's all about release, letting go. So you can't manifest without release, which is what the waning moon is all about. So I figured why the hell not do a reading about what you need to release? So let's dive in, Sagittarius. Let's get some clarity on your release, what needs to happen, sweet release for Sagittarius. What does Sagittarius need to see about what they need to cut away? The clearest energy you have for Sag. Was it going on? Lift the deck over, I'm hearing. Okay. What's the clear energy you have for Sag? So we have the queen of stars in reverse, which would be Capricorn energy. So let me get two more. And they just popped out two more, love that. The 10 of swords, oh my gosh, and the tower, what is going on? Okay, this could have been a firing, a termination. Maybe you're literally let, being let go of from a job or you're relinquishing a job that you had the queen of stars can indicate that there's a loss of abundance because upright she's very abundant you know she's the mother of the earth she is very resourceful has money very stable but in reverse there's this energy of like losing it all and i feel like it's because you've been through this very 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 toxic cycle um it's almost like you've been through something that required a lot of your energy this is like a dark night of the soul journey um and it's leading to something like a very painful ending right that's why we have the tower here so sagittarius i don't know what the hell you were going through or have been through but it seems like there's either a loss of abundance maybe you got let go of from a job terminated from a job maybe you just need some money point blank period there just seems to be this energy where there's a, a financial loss or some type of loss of abundance in one way or another but the bottom of the deck the bottom line here the two of moons two of cups everything is eventually going to come together and you are the eternal optimist so you already know that this is a very temporary situation even though it might have been hard to go through so give me a little bit more for sag what does sag need to see what's the energy for sagittarius for this waning moon we have courtship so it seems like and you know the bottom of the deck in addition to the two of moons the two of cups clarifying that is the four of stars so the four of stars is like a loss right it's like the four of pentacles greed poverty but it seems like you're actually gaining something i'm just noticing the two fours so it, it seems like even though uh, you know something might seem like a loss like maybe you're losing somebody from your life this is actually a gain for you addition by subtraction give me more for sagittarius last card i'm hearing distant horizons yeah i feel like you're just moving on from somebody yeah and because of that you're moving into wellness i feel like the courtship is with yourself it's almost like you're dating yourself you're moving away from this person because that's where the stability is i feel like either someone you've been around or some activity you've been doing or something you've been engaging in is very low vibey and i feel like you're just like i'm sick of that shit. i want to move on i want better for me and i think because you're making the decision just simply making a decision is a very powerful energy so i feel like you're doing that and because you're doing that sad it's leading you into abundance with privileged lady coming out so let's let's talk more about that yeah, you're definitely release whatever you're releasing. It's a very hard release, but it's a very necessary release. Birds of a feather, right? Flock together until they don't. So I feel like there's this energy where you're about to find your soul tribe. Because I feel like for a while you were vibing with a, a crowd or a crew or a person that, you know, for a while it worked until it didn't. And I feel like with this energy, birds of a feather, it's almost just like, okay, that it's not serving me anymore. I'm, I'm here to find my real soul tribe. Sacred reverence. Yes. This is a really, really sacred, beautiful energy. I feel like this is the energy of having all the answers inside of your heart as cheesy as that sounds sad this is like going your own heart's direction. Like there, there's something to be discovered here. 
And I'm noticing this worldly energy, so I feel like you are traveling. You're moving somewhere, and that's the natural Sag energy. Sag is, um, what did I want to say, the jockey? <laughs> Sag is like the centaur, but you guys kind of are like jockeys. Half horse, half man, it's almost just like you're in this energy of always moving. Rip-offs, rip-off bandages, short-term, needs work, rash-free. Yeah, I feel like you're actually just, whatever you're ripping off, it's something, it's like ripping off the band-aid, right? Like, usually it can be like a, a very quick, like, uh, like, ow energy <laughs> with the Ten of Swords, the tower. But it, it's almost like, it's like you need to do it sometimes. Sometimes it's just like, okay, you need to let the skin breathe. And I feel like you're letting yourself breathe. There's this huge energy in all these readings about like going your own direction, going your own way. I always notice a common theme in these readings. Give me something for Sag through the charms. Oh my gosh, look at this. We have the heart and locket and the heart and locket. So there's that. I feel like you're going to meet your person or something that really unlocks your heart's truest desire, Sag, especially when you take on this energy of being a privileged person or someone that has a lot of blessings or you're noticing all of the blessings and abundance in your life. It's like the more you notice that, the more the universe is going to give you that energy to notice further. Whatever energy you're in, it gets more of that energy. Give me more for Sag through the Astrodice. What do they need to see about clearing? And I like that clearing energy with a rip off. So we have the sun in Gemini. Maybe there's a Gemini in your life you need to clear out. In the ninth house, which is ruled by Sagittarius. So the sun in Gemini is all about communication. And the ninth house, you guys are all about travel, exploration. So I feel like there's this energy where you're communicating with somebody that you're going to be going your own direction. You're going to be moving another way. So maybe this was like a twin flame. Gemini is the twins. So I feel like there was a karmic situation with somebody that you have to just say like, hey, this was really difficult and we vibed until we fucking did it. And it's time for me to go. It's time for me to rip off this bandaid and move in another direction. And I feel like, yeah, that's what you're doing. So I love this for you, Sag. You're really following the call of spirit. So I hope this resonated. If you're interested in a personal reading, head on over to themoonempress.com or the T-H-A moonempress.edc.com and I will definitely check you later, Sag.